once again and welcome to another week of In My Mug. Hello. A little quick bit of news for next week. As you may or may not have heard, there's some bank holidays coming up. So we're going to be sending your coffee just a little bit early next week. Instead of on the normal Friday, we're going to roast it and post it on the Thursday. Friday's a bank holiday. It should still get to you as normal on Saturday. So just when you get an email a little bit early, that's what we're doing. And that's why it's on the way just a little bit early. Now, for this week, we are off to Burundi. We have got a coffee from Corundo and it's naturally processed. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't know very much about this coffee. However, here it has been. We have someone who is very, very useful when stuff like this happens. And I think I can feel him around somewhere. Where is he? I'm looking for... Roland? Roland! Ah, Roland Glenn. Cool. Here when called. Here when called. Right. Um, we have... Delicious coffee, already brewed in the origami dripper, which I've been really enjoying using. I haven't actually taken one home, so my brewing method is a little bit not refined. I'm having to go here when I get a chance and really enjoy it so far. The filter papers are the origami ones. That I felt really nice. Um, this one I brewed it at 60 grams per litre, which is my kind of standard go-to go -to ratio, yeah. Uh, this is a, was a 400 gram, 400 milliliter, sorry, brew. So 24 grams in. I did brew this one fairly quickly. It was one pour, fairly quick. I think we came in about three mm. minutes-ish or so on, on that. For me, like these naturals, I quite like them brewed like that because it lets you get all those complex kind of lighter flavors. And I think personal preferences for the naturals is I kind of like push them one way or the other, maybe be a bit heavier and get body really emphasized, or kind of go for that slightly lighter kind of one where I think you can taste more of those fruit flavors. Mm, very interesting. So you literally just, just do one, one single pour all the way up? Yeah, it was wow. one single pour, not too, too quick. Ah, so we had, really? a little, we had a balloon yeah. with about the first 80 ml or so of water and okay. then one single pour all the way up to the rest of it. Wow, interesting. I have not seen anyone brew an origami like that before. Well, it works, it's it, very delicious. It came out well. The, um, the coffee did not look the best when it was brewing. I've had some comments on my, my brews not being the prettiest, but I'm happy it's tasting good. So this is a coffee we've had before. It's been a couple of years since we've had it. Uh, we were, we called it Corundo last time we had it, and it's also had the name Matara Hill before that one. This is the name for the area of Burundi. So it's the same people, the CAFEX uh, group, and they've got a washing station there. And they've done a really good job with this one, I think. It's really clean processing. It's not, naturals are not a kind of processing that you often get from Burundi. So it's a bit of a new thing for them to do. And that means it's a little bit tricky and a bit unreliable. Um, it's not something that they've got loads and loads of experience on, but they've been trying doing it. And this year we tasted it and it's really good, really clean, really carefully processed. So there is a little bit of kind of natural funk. Still. Yeah, but it's, it's pretty, pretty low. Um, and I get some of those dried fruit flavors. There's like some a golden raisin and some maybe a little bit of lemoniness to it. But actually for me, the really big flavor is pear, which I find a really unusual one. It's not one I see in coffee very often. I really, really enjoy it when I do. Mm, you know what, now you've said it. I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, I get that. Oh, yeah, very good. So it's think like on. one of those kind of really almost overripe sticky pear or pear juice kind of Courage to it. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I just I think that's really nice. It's not a flavour I get in coffee very often. I really enjoy it when I do find it. Um, the varietal for this is mostly Bourbon, uh, very typical for Burundi. Um, look out for a washed version of this coffee as well. We're going to feature in a few weeks' time. It'll be coming up. And I think you'll really enjoy trying those two. It's a really interesting kind of comparison of how much that processing plays a huge role. Um, while I've got you here, Roland, you said you've got Burundi coming up. 
we got any other exciting origins on the horizon for okay. my mug? So for our regular customers, this is one you might have seen coming. I know I've had some questions about this already. Bolivia, we are so happy. Bolivia, we are so Bolivia. We are so to say that Bolivian coffee is nearly here. It is it's in the UK. It's not actually in the roastery yet, but it's in the UK. So we're really close. Um, these coffees are a little later than they have been lots of other years because the, the weather, the shipping, the, the pandemic has slowed down a lot of um, the shipping and it does drag things out a little bit, but they're finally here. Um, we're really, really excited that in a week or two, you should be, you should be getting some lovely Bolivian coffees to taste and they're, they're really good this year, yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's really lovely news. Thank you, Roland. Thank you to everybody at home. I just want to say a really quick thank you to everyone as well for all the comments you've been giving us recently. Like the interaction has been really exciting and really, really good for us. Please keep them coming. We love speaking to you. We love hearing from you about what, what we're up to. And if you're also on a platform where you can like and subscribe to this video, please do it. Please show Roland that we care. We enjoy his tasting notes and that he's doing a really good job. Anyway, from me and from Roland, hope you have a lovely, lovely weekend. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. I, I thought there was going to be enough here for you guys as well, but I totally screwed that up.